This video is how to remove the outer casing of a dowel. First of all, if you look at the bottom, there is a little switch. This is not a power switch, it's to remove the outer, this side panel here. I'm going to turn this computer on its side. Right, now the computer is on its side. Press in this button. This then releases the bottom edge. If you look carefully, you can see that. Right, I needed both hands to uh, do that. So here goes. I've just pressed the thing and it will lift off like so. It hinges back and you can remove that. Now you can have access to the rest of the case. If you want to remove further things like the CD-ROM or the floppy drive, turn the case around, you will notice on the top there's a button. Press that in, that releases that there's two catches underneath here and then you can pull the whole panel off. Then you can simply remove it, and there's two hinges at the side, and then you can pull the panel off. This allows you to remove the floppy drive and the CD. To do this, there's two clips either side. You push them in, and then you simply pull, to remove the floppy drive, you just press this switch down and pull. Again, you need two hands to actually push that, the two clips on the side, so then you simply slide out. At the moment, I haven't disconnected the data lead and the power lead, so I won't put it completely, but that we will completely slide out. Floppy drive is much the same. Again, I'm going to have to use two hands, so pausing. I've put the actual computer case upright, and that will simply slide out. I haven't removed the uh, power or the data cable, so I won't totally remove it, but you can see how it's uh, easier. It just takes um, a fairly standard floppy drive. All you would have to do is remove the front plastic panel of floppy drive and it should fit in fairly easily. That pushes back in and then if you replace the CD-ROM or with a DVD then that pops in as well. Other things, like other things about it, changing the power unit, uh, looking at the back of the case, there's a release switch, press that in and you simply Take the whole power thing. Uh, you can replace it with a power supply. This one seems to take a standard power supply. Uh, gaining access to the expansion slots to put the external cards in. You have to remove the expansion board. This is done by a lever. Uh, you simply pull it up, and the whole assembly comes out. Then you have access for putting expansion cards in. Just remove the actual blank paint, blank panel. Put your expansion card in. Slot it in. Once your card's actually in, make sure you line up the actual panel, it goes in a groove, again, simply push it down, it is a bit stiff, but it will go down, and it makes sure it locks, I hope you find that useful.